Webnote Complete Tutorial for Beginners Step-by-Step -step Guide Hello guys, Ilya here and in this video I'm going to show you how can we use Webnote to create our own website. Basically it's not that hard so let's get started. Firstly we need to visit webnote.com, this is our homepage. As you can see they provide us a lot of information with features, templates, premium knowledges and webnote blog. In order to get started we need to click on get started for free or create a website. So let's click on create a website in the right top corner. So we need to enter the name of our website, let it be like something like this. And after that we need to register or we can sign in with Google. So I'll just continue with Google right up here and create an account with my gmail account basically it's pretty easy sometimes it could be like errors according to the name of our website let it be like something like this i don't know why but it continues to like make some um, errors yeah now it's okay so on this page here we can choose some templates we need to use so we can switch between different categories like all templates new most popular business online store personal blog restaurant and so on so let's try to create for example blog website so I'll just continue to uh, find the blog templates here and as you can see they provides us a lot of different templates we can use for free and I think this one is pretty good so I'm going to click on preview to uh, view it for myself yeah I think this one is looks pretty good so let's click on choose templates to continue editing so in the right top corner just click on uh, choose this template and it may, take, it may take a little time according to our like internet speed and their services uh, so now they provide us a small guide, so let's close it for a little and as you can see now we are on our editing page where we can customize all, all the parts of this website. So we can simply click for example here and change the name of our blog. So let it be Helperman's blog. As you can see we can simply click on it here, uh, click on format, we can make it bold, make it italic change the font if we are interested in change the style so I'd like to change this style basically let it be like like this here I think this one is pretty good and uh, maybe I'm going to make it not italic like this so also as you can see all the um, website is divided into different sections for example this is our header here and we can insert one more section so I'm going to use it from my templates here and just simply click we need to click on plus in the central part and then just add one more I'm going to add the I think I'm going to add three columns template. So now it looks like this. We can simply uh, just change the order of our like templates here. So we can just simply click uh, right up here and then just change the order of our sections. I'm going to move it down because I want to stay at uh, like uh, near the information about my blog. So I'm going also to change the uh, image so we can click on edit basically as you can see we can replace uh, basically we can customize every single part of our, our website here so we can just simply click for example here we can add a blog post or we can manage posts so let's click on manage posts here and as you can see there is like uh, three posts here we can switch between them and we can edit every single post and just quick click, click on edit and here we are we can edit image we can change the uh, title of our post we can change the date we created this post for example sometimes it could be really helpful and this is how can we deal with every single part here so after that we can just simply click on uh, publish and everything will be saved even just not the uh, on the post the whole website will be saved so uh, we can switch between different pages of course but in this case let's go uh, home to our uh, website here and we'll continue to uh, you know edit it so we can edit every single part as I already said we can edit the footer and this is the way so also we can go to pages here and this is a way of how can we organize our websites menu if you'll click we can find that we have like home about me contact 
and block we can change the order of our folders we can just simply drag and drop it into necessary position as you can see and we can also click on every single folder to change some setting for example show page in navigation menu we can switch it off and as you can see it disappeared right up here so i'll just turn it on and as you can see it looks like this also, we can change the CEO page settings to make it easier to find. So we can change the page title, page address, add some meta description, meta keywords, custom HTML, and so on. And this is in this way, we can just um, edit every single page here to make it easier to find in Google search, for example. So we can also go to settings and um, use some other features, for example, like for general, we can add the our domain, we can add the email account, different website editors. We can also like create the online store if we are interested in, but not all the features are provided. So we can find the different, you know, pricings here. And as you can see, Webnote provides us for different plans with like limited, mini, standard and profi. And the standard is the most like popular here. So we can find a lot of differences. The main difference is in like email accounts and video background option we can add. Also, there is like a huge amount of differences in like mini and standard and prof and standard are pretty like similar as for me, maybe a little bit more like members registration, like multiple language versions and so on. So you can start it for free and then just uh, decide is it suitable for you to use Webnote. So when everything is done, we can just simply click on publish and make all changes on your website visible to your visible visitors. So we can just simply click on publish. And now that's all. Um, great job. Your website has published. So we can just simply use this link to visit our website. Basically, now we are on our website. As you can see, it's like available as for us. I think it's pretty cool. It, in like seven minutes we can easily create our own you know blog and now everyone can see it of course we can find the domain we can buy the domain buy some other stuff but in this case this is the easiest way of how can we create the web node um, blog or website so in the right top corner we can find our account menu with my projects my account purchases services and billings where you can find all the billings information. If you go to my projects here, we can find all these websites we're creating. For example, this one is right up here and two more I wanted to create a little bit earlier. But basically, yeah, in this case, uh, we can find my projects right up here. So uh, this is a way, guys, of how can we deal with webnote.com. Hope this tutorial helped you out and it made your life a little bit easier. So if it is, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. If you have any questions, you can write them in the comments below. I wish you a very good day. Goodbye.